Hello and welcome back to my channel. Today's video is going to be another Halloween haul. So if you like these types of videos, please consider subscribing and I will get into the video now. So I did say in my last Home Sense haul that I wasn't actually probably going to be doing another Home Sense haul for Halloween just because there's not been that much I've been like obsessed with this year compared to the last few years. But I do just like to go in every now and then and just have a look to make sure nothing new has been added. And when I did go on Saturday, which was like two days ago, I found some more stuff. <laughs> so I did originally go in before work and just had like a look around and took some photos and added them to the UK Halloween watch. And I saw something that I was going to come back for after work because I didn't have enough time to like queue up and pay and stuff. So in the meantime while I was working I did go back to TK Maxx and HomeSense after and someone had commented on the Halloween group that they were after one of the witches that was in the photo. So I specifically went back to pick that up for them and also to pick up the one item that I knew I was going to go back for anyway. The one that I was definitely going to get was the pumpkin syrups and I've seen quite a few people get these this year. I saw the pumpkin praline pie one but it was the time when I spent like £50 on like the plants, the stand and the two snow globes so it was the time when I went in and bought quite a few things which was my first haul which I will leave up in the eye and in the description below. But because I was spending a bit more money, I didn't want to get the syrup as well. So I did leave it and I haven't actually seen that one since. And when I went back, they had loads and loads of these like mini sets of syrups. And this is called the Jordan Skinny Syrups Pumpkin Trio. They also did another one, which was pumpkin desserts. And that was pumpkin scone, pumpkin cinnamon roll. And there was a third one as well. Yeah, I can't remember the name. It was something else, pumpkin. But I really liked the name of these ones more. So I did pick up this one. And this one has pumpkin spice, pumpkin caramel and pumpkin cheesecake. Which sounds amazing. So that's what they look like. And I did get the... It was either pumpkin caramel or pumpkin pie one last year and I loved it so much I got like the big bottle of it but I really liked the idea of having like a selection of them it was a bit more price it was £6.99 as you can see on the sticker the big bottles of it are £3.99 I believe some of them are a bit more depending on the brand so this one was a bit more pricey than the big bottle but I did like add up all the millilitres and you do get more in this and you also get the choice of which one you want and they don't actually do a big bottle as far as I'm aware they might do it but I haven't actually seen it but I haven't seen a big pumpkin spice one and that was the one like I was mainly after because I want to make like pumpkin spice lattes <laughs> so yeah, I did pick up this one. I'll get one out so you can see. So they are in these bottles and the bottles are like plastic and they do fill it up to the top. I was just checking. So it's not like they've hidden because sometimes companies put a sticker like this and fill it up to here. But this actually has been filled up to about here. So that is quite good. And yeah, that's what the sticker looks like for this one. And I do generally add these syrups, as I said, to coffee. I think you can add them to like milkshakes, desserts, just kind of anything. So that was the first item that I picked up in TK Maxx and HomeSense. My TK Maxx was originally TK Maxx and then they added HomeSense in with it. So it's kind of both. <laughs> so yeah, that was the first one I got. And then I went, as I said, to pick up the witch for the one... Um, lady on the Halloween page and this is her <laughs> so I did ask her which one she wanted and she did want the one in like the silvery dress and I picked her up and I I've never been like too keen on the witches I did get the like skeleton kind of Tim Burton-y people I think it was two years ago now and I'm not like a big fan of dolls like dolls really creep me out but because they're fabric I'll grab one of them I did get these ones and I just think they're adorable, like they're so cute. And I did get the like, 
girl one as well so they are a couple <laughs> yeah i've never actually bought one of the witches before and i picked her up and i was like okay and then she like paypaled the money and everything how it always goes i was like looking at her and i was like oh my gosh i'm gonna get so attached aren't i like i'm gonna put her on like my desk so you know she's safe and everything before i package her up and then i'm just gonna be like oh my gosh i don't want to send it <laughs> so i did end up getting this one for me and this other one which is exactly the same for the lady in the halloween page so that one will be going off to her and this one will be staying with me they are exactly the same they did have quite a few designs some of them are a bit bigger but their bodies are so long it doesn't look proportioned i mean it's not supposed to and some of their like hats are really long and i didn't really like that but i thought this one because she's a bit smaller like she is kind of proportional <laughs> so i will go through the main features of her i really liked the fact that she had like a pvc shiny hat i don't think any of the other designs did have a shiny hat and i really liked this feature there is a ribbon around her hat which is kind of a velvety material with this kind of spiderweb print which is really cute and her hat also does match her shoes her face is maybe a little creepy i'd say i mean it's not too bad as i said i'm not a fan of dolls but she is like made out of a fabric i don't like ceramic kind of things <laughs> so that's what her face looks like she does have really nice green eyes which i liked and red lips and then another feature of her which i really really liked was her hair this one does have like black hair but it's got pieces of silver kind of mixed in with it and it just looks really really pretty and it is wavy too so i really liked that feature and it matches her dress really really nicely she does also have a choker on which is really cute it's got like a jewel on it there and then her dress is i don't know just like a kind of thinnish piece of material with silver kind of sewn into it and it is mainly grey and then it does have these two buttons down here with these kind of frilly sleeves which is adorable and the dress is also cut like asymmetrically so it's kind of pointy here and it doesn't go as far down here and that just continues all the way round and she is one of these ones where you sit her on like a surface and her legs kind of dangle down which is exactly the same as the other ones so she does kind of sit okay-ish like she does sometimes fall backwards because she is quite heavy i mean she's not like too heavy but she's heavy enough to kind of pull her down if that makes sense but generally she does stay up okay she has these hands over here and they do have like bits of wire in so you can actually shape them which is really cool and then she is holding this kind of masquerade mask which is really cute it does have this kind of blue and black stripey stick attached to the mask and then the mask itself is made out of felt on the back and then on the front it does have this really glittery black material and it does also have a feather which is adorable under her dress she does have this like netting to kind of puff the dress up her legs match the masquerade stick here so it does all kind of match and go together which i really did like she does have quite long legs and then her boots are as i said the same material as the hat and they have been finished off with this kind of ruffly effect which does also look a little bit like victorian which i really liked so it does have just different pieces of material and a bit of like sparkly i think that's like a pipe cleaner or something around her boots and all the material used is black as well so that's the main features of her i really did like her in the end and i'm really glad i picked her up she was only like nine pound 99 i will show you the label which i felt like was such a good price the other ones there were priced between £9.99 and £15.99 if I'm right. There were some bigger ones like this that were priced higher and this one was the like cheapest one because she was a bit smaller. I've heard from different people that they do have like standing ones but I haven't seen those but I'm assuming they might be priced from like £15.99 to about 20 because they are a bit bigger and they do stand up but this is one of the sitting ones and yeah i'm really glad i picked her up in the end 
for £9.99 I just think that's such like a good deal because of the amount of detail that's on her so like everything's been really carefully considered like to match everything like the grey in her hair matches her dress and this matches this so yeah I'm really happy to have her and she will sit with my little skeleton people over there <laughs> that was the only items I got from TK Maxx this time I forgot to say this haul will be like a mixture of five shops so there's TK Maxx which are those items I just went through and then there's Lush, Wilco, Clinton's and also Tiger so I will go on to the Wilco item first because I just kind of got like one item from each shop and I did pick up the confetti that they do this year and it does look like this as you can see it is only one pound which is a good deal so it has these really cute ghost confettis pumpkin and also spider confetti and it just is kind of stuck on this piece of cardboard I did pick up three of these just because I stock up on these for like my shop and I put them in all the stripy bags and I literally have zero ghost confetti at the moment because I ran out of it and usually at this time I stock up like on quite a lot like I usually buy like 10 of these to try and last the whole year but the only problem I'm having is I've got loads and loads of spider confetti and because I don't like spiders I'm just like I don't really want to put that in the bag <laughs> I mean I don't mind touching it and stuff but I'm just like I don't know because I don't like spiders I don't want to put it in in people's orders I don't know I'm trying to like use it up because I know not everyone is like afraid of spiders like me but I also use the pumpkin confetti only around Halloween really and stick to like ghost bat and witch confetti at the other points of the year so I also have a lot of pumpkin confetti so the only one I really need is the ghost so I'm gonna end up with loads and loads of pumpkin and spider confetti just to get the ghost ones <laughs> something that I did find was interesting I mean one pound for three bags of confetti I'd say is quite a good deal because if you try and find like spooky confetti online it's easily two pounds for like one of these so I would say this is a good deal however last year they had a bigger bit of cardboard, it was about double this size, and it had six bags of this confetti for a pound. So they have kind of halved it, and I think they did Day of the Dead skulls, the ghosts, the pumpkins, the spiders, the witches, and also cats. So I definitely preferred the selection last year because, I mean, I was getting three extra bags, which helped on, like, stocking up. But I am happy that I managed to pick this up and I probably will go back for more because I kind of need it. <laughs> the next one I got from Clinton's and it is this adorable bat. So as you've seen in my previous two Halloween hauls, I have this really cute pumpkin bear. And I got these two from Build-A-Bear. Um, this one was last year and this one was this year. And then... I also really like to collect the TY toy things and I've kind of collected one each year for about the past four years now and I started off with getting this bat he's like got green eyes and pink wings and then the next year I got this really adorable ghost with a hood and then last year I picked up this adorable ghost with candy corn fangs and like a little pumpkin so these three kind of sit along this cushion I have here and I do have quite a lot of ghosts now as you can see but I don't actually have a lot of bats so when I saw this in Clinton's I thought I remembered my one didn't have like orange on it and I figured they were quite different enough to have both of them so I did pick this one up and he was only £4.49 which I felt was such a good deal usually they are priced around £6 or £7 especially these ones because they are kind of limited edition for Halloween and I just thought he was so adorable he is mainly black and he is super super fluffy he does have these like glittery ears and wings and also feet which i just thought made him like super halloweeny the orange glitter also matches his eyes and he does have a little purple nose and some white fangs there and those fangs have been stitched onto it as well and yeah he is kind of like standard size as the other ones i just showed and i'm super happy i managed to pick him up this was the one i got from clinton's Moving on to Lush now, this was actually supposed to be shown in my other 
Halloween haul that I did previously but I completely forgot because I put it in a drawer <laughs> so I did get the pumpkin pumpkin that's the name of it um bath bomb and that's what the like name of it looks like I believe for the past few years Lush came out with a pumpkin bath bomb that was round and it had a pumpkin face on but this year it has actually changed and it is kind of flat which I'll show you in a minute <sighs> Lush do have a good Halloween range but I just find it quite expensive. I know the ingredients are like good and you know all of that and stuff but I feel like their prices are rising and I have mentioned this in other beauty hauls that I've done. Now they're charging like seven to eight pounds for a bath bomb when they used to charge like three or four. So I don't tend to buy that much Lush stuff especially as they've got rid of the majority of the stuff I like like the Twilight Shower Shell. <laughs> So I don't shop in there too much, but I do like to at least get one pumpkin thing around Halloween because, I mean, it is a pumpkin bath bomb. <laughs> this is what the bath bomb looks like. Hopefully I don't get crumbs everywhere. <laughs> but it does look like this. It is quite a thick bath bomb, but as you can see, it is flat rather than the round one. And it does have these kind of eyes cut out of it and a mouth and I was told in store that the eyes and the mouth actually glow in the dark which is kind of cool and he does have like a green stalk there the only thing that I guess put me up a little bit about this is it is like a citrus kind of smell like it's kind of orangey and I'm not too fussed on citrus smell like they're not my favorite to be honest i would have preferred if this was actually like a pumpkin smell or like pumpkin spice or at least something autumnal like cinnamon or just something because <laughs> i feel like citrus is quite a summery scent they did also have the like bewitched bubble bars but i prefer bath bombs to the bubble bars and the other thing that i kind of considering is the glow in the dark ghost soap just because it's a ghost and it glows in the dark and it's adorable i looked at the ones in the store and they had like fingerprints all over so i was like mm, not sure about that and they are i think around six to seven pounds and i don't really use soap so it's kind of like i want it because it's a ghost and it glows in the dark rather than am i actually going to use it <laughs> So still not sure about that, but I did also have a gift card that I got for Christmas a year ago and I had like 30p on it. So I think this bath bomb was around £5.95 and I got like 30p off of it. I might be wrong with that, but I paid around 5 This was the item I got from Lush. And the last three items are from Tiger now. I did go in, as I said, on Saturday and they had finally put out their Halloween range. I've been like going in like all the times I was in town and there was just nothing and there was still the summery prints and I was like, oh my gosh, come on. <laughs> so I did go in and they had quite a few Halloween things. They had like the aisle at the front and then they also had a side bit. Some of it is a bit cheapy, but some of it is quite good. Also seen they do tote bags, which I really want to get, but mine doesn't have it in yet. So I'm hoping they bring out like the ghost and the bat tote bag because I really, really want them. I did pick up this really cute pumpkin felt basket. And as soon as I saw it, I was like, oh my gosh, I really want that. But I don't know what I'd use it for. Because it does have like a flat base and then there are all these pumpkin faces around it. They are the same face, just kind of with a classic pumpkin mouth and happy eyes. Inside it is black. So these have been like stuck onto the black material. So it's kind of like a basket slash tray and it was £2.50 to begin with. There isn't a price on the tag because they have them on stand things. But it just says Halloween decoration. And I was trying to think what I'd use it for. And then I had like such a good idea. Because all the jewellery I make for my shop Simply Gothic. I put in like these felt baskets that I got from Primark. And I have like one for the sale stuff. One for the music collection. One for the general collection. And like all of that. But I don't actually have one for my Halloween collection. So I figured that I could put all the pre-made things that I make so when I like list something I make sure I've made it so I didn't get confused so I can put all of those in here when I've made them which I was just so happy I had an idea for it as I said it was £2.50 which I feel like is an all right price it is kind of quite basic with the one face and made of felt but I did really like it and once I had the idea of what I'd use it for I definitely had to get it 
And the other thing that I really, really liked in Tiger were these adorable like tree decorations, I guess. They do just say felt figure on the tag. And these were a pound each, which I felt like was such a good deal. And they're so adorable and like really well made. So this is the pumpkin one. As you can see, he's made from like an orange felt with these eyes. The mouth does actually match the pumpkin basket here. And so do the eyes actually. <laughs> so yeah, he is like fully made of felt and he does have this stalk which has been sewn into the design. And there is stitching all across here. He is like stuffed a little bit. As you can see, he is quite flat, but not completely flat. There is like stuffing inside and he does come on a little orange string. So I think I'll either hang these up somewhere on my wall and maybe move them to my tree once I get it out at like December. <laughs> I do usually have like a spooky tree around Christmas rather than like around Halloween, just because I don't have much room for it and I have to clear a table over there. And the last item in the haul, as you've seen, is this adorable sleeping ghost. This kind of reminds me of the cloud from Sass and Bell. I don't know if you've seen that. They had like a cloud design in, at Sass and Bell and they do have a face that's really similar to this and it is a sleeping cloud. So I'm assuming this is a sleeping ghost. It's the same kind of idea, all made of felt. Obviously it's a white felt and it has been stitched all across here with the stuffing inside. And then his eyes and mouth have just been sewn on and there is a white string. Again, this one was a pound and I felt like that was such a good deal. They feel really well made. I mean, it's just adorable. <laughs> so again, I will be either putting this on my tree when I get it out or on my whiteboard or my wall or something. They did also have a black cat one. So there was a choice of the pumpkin, the ghost or the black cat. But I'm not into cats, really. I'm not a fan of cats. So I just picked up the pumpkin and the ghost one. That's everything in this haul. I am going back to TK Maxx today. I'm actually going to a different one to see if they have like any of the items I've been looking for and just to see what they do in general. So there might be another haul. I keep saying like this is the last one, but yeah, maybe not. <laughs> so if you enjoyed this haul please give it a like and also comment down below what your favorite item was and what shops have their halloween collections out and whether you found the tote bags in tiger please consider subscribing if you like these types of videos and i will see you in my next video bye